Hey everybody, welcome back. Norm Lewis has captivated audiences for decades with iconic performances on stage and on screen. He's even been nominated for a little thing called a Tony and a little thing called a Grammy. Yeah, and we've just learned that he loves a good steak and a martini. And tonight he's crooning his way into Pittsburgh's heart once again with an intimate concert you don't want to miss. But first, he is warming up with us here on PTL. Thank you so much for joining us. Kidding. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. This, this is, is a thrill. And you've been in Pittsburgh before. In fact, yes. I have seen thousands of people just wowed by your singing thousands. before here in thousands. Pittsburgh. Yes. Well, Pittsburgh is a great, great city. I love, I was just talking to someone who brought me here. I love the bridges. I love all I the bridges. Know. But I haven't done the thing that it does the incline up the uh, right. Oh, yet, but I look forward to that. Yeah, well, maybe on this tired. trip if yeah. you have some time, because yeah. it's worth it. It really is. It's yeah. true Pittsburgh. So tell us about your show. It's at the cabaret. The trust is putting on this show. Right. Um, what can people expect out of this? Because it's an intimate setting. Yeah, it's. it's nice. uh, I, I always say that I do Norm's greatest hits. You know, people kind of know me if they're in the musical theater world. They know me for being in The Phantom. They know me for being in Les Misérables and Porky and Bess, which I was nominated for, Tony. I didn't win. I'm a loser. But it's fine. No. Um, <laughs> it's an honor. If it's they an say. honor. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right, but, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but it was, it was um, yeah, so I do those. And then I will throw in a little surprises here and there with uh, some uh, American uh, standards and uh, people who have uh, in, in, inspired me throughout the years. You know, like Johnny Mathis, plays songs like that. Yeah, it's We're watching, in fact, some Porgy and Bess video right there. Yeah. I mean, talk to us about, like, the differences in what you do, because you do it all. So, like, being in a Broadway musical compared to, for instance, the cabaret tonight. Right. I mean, it's the cabaret is a lot more personal, right? It is, and you get to know a little bit more about me and why I'm singing these songs, you know, some stories behind the scenes, things like that. You know, it's fun being here, actually, because I get to see who you are behind the scenes. So people want to kind of know that when they come see you. Yeah. And it doesn't really what matter the song is. It's about those stories behind it. Yeah. yeah. And the connection you make with yeah, the And the audience. connection, yeah. I love the live re reaction. Uh, but, you know, uh, I, like you said, I've been very blessed to be in different genres. And and, you know, theater and live stage is like, ah, you know, you got to get it out there and project. But I just remember one of my first jobs on television and uh, Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed, was yeah. my director. And it was a TV show and I was like speaking up. My, my wife was angst and, and it was, it's a long story. But anyway, I had to do a dramatic scene and he was like, you're too big. So I had to start bringing it down. Well, we've talked about yeah, that before yeah. because you have to be so big, big on, on stage, stage and you have to dial it back for yeah. TV. He's like, your voice, you know, he said, you do a lot of theater, don't you? And I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> Guilty. And he said, just, just, just talk like this. Just yeah. think about it. And just think about what you're saying. So that's the different skill set. Well, you're trying to project to an audience when you're on stage. And we find this, too, even in this TV studio, that the camera's right here, but your microphone is on you. So you don't need to do that same projection. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about Phantom? Because we love to talk about manifesting your future. Right. And I know, because I've listened to you talk about this, this was a role you sort of manifested. You wanted this role. Yeah, yeah. I saw it back in Toronto back in 1994. Colm Wilkinson, who's you know known for Les Mis and a lot of other things, but he was doing it, and I'm like, oh, I have to be in this show. I didn't know what capacity, like as the Phantom or just in the show, and I kept putting that out there 20 years, and then 20 years later, uh, in 2014, I made my debut. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. So what's next for you outside of tonight? You know, outside, well, this is one of the highlights of my life is doing cabaret and actually being here in Pittsburgh. So that this is a big deal. Um, I'm on the road right now. I have a little break. I'm doing a soldier's play and we'll be in Tempe, Arizona next and then L.A. for five weeks. So if you're out there, come and see it. It's a great play. It was on Broadway, got shut down because of the pandemic, but it's a really good play. Um, and I have other concerts coming up. I'm going to be at the Bowl, uh, at Hollywood Bowl this summer. Uh, Houston, doing some more concerts. Great. Well, we're so glad you're here in Pittsburgh. And you have to come back because next time we want to talk to you about being on Scandal and kissing Kerry Washington. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, that's, you know what, that's a I'm, whole you know segment by itself. Tell, tell, are you? Like, <laughs> as an actor, well, you love to do that? Yeah, they get to okay. see it. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. like, it's dumbed down. I'm not going to tell you all the secrets. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I just want right, to you have to this. tell us something. Tell us something about it. Well, the first thing, when I first got the show, I was like, oh, my God, she's so beautiful. Yeah. And I get to kiss those lips. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, is right. that, that? Wait, are you married, though? 
Huh? Are you married? Well, am I married now yeah. in real life? Yeah. No, no. That's that's a whole nother segment. Okay, no, sorry. Okay. <laughs> now you but brought the room sure, down. Like, uh. You know, like you, she's beautiful. <laughs> I get to kiss her, and then like you know, your spouse is in the wings. Like, well, <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll just be here watching. Yeah, no, she, and she wasn't married at the time, and okay. but you know, it's all good. Everybody's all good. But I just want to give a shout out because <laughs> there's going to be some surprises tonight. I'm sorry. My good friend. <laughs> Billy Hartong is going to come and sing with me. And, oh, uh, wonderful. And he's from Pittsburgh. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Hi, fantastic. Hi, Norm, thing. you're so much fun. And you <laughs> know what? Foot in my mouth. I'm it's glad fine. we asked about scandal. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, I, ladies and gentlemen, come back. I'm going to be the third host on this, <laughs> on this hour. Please. Uh, <laughs> Please, you can help take me out of the hole scandal. I dig. All right. Thank you so much, Norm. <laughs> Have a great show tonight. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> All right, and his performance this evening at the O'Reilly Theater is the finale of the 2022-2023 Trust Cabaret Series presented by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Yeah, and the 2023-2024 Trust Cabaret Series is celebrating its 11th season, and that will be announced soon. It's an outstanding roster of talented stars once again, and it will be performed at the newly renovated Greer Cabaret Theater in Theater Square beginning this fall. I know a lot of people have been waiting for that to reopen. Yeah, we can't wait to hear the list too.